TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch, we are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it, little warning screen, man. Read it and weep, just in case. Don't forget, we are on twitch.com. That's where you can catch a live, previous is lives, or future lives. Username is at the bottom of the screen. You see it. We also got Patreon Monday through Friday. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> That's where we watch stuff we can't watch on YouTube, man. Let's get to this. This is Standout TV. My eye was hanging out of my head. Well, how did that happen? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Talk to me. Uh, my name's Loons. Andre, I, was, I grew up in Hackney, London. A vibrant little area in the East. Mm -mm. Standout TV, I hear the music in the background. Let's, let's, let's nip that in the butt. If we're doing interviews, we need no music, no background music. All I want to hear is stories and questions and answers. No music. Um, Y'all normally don't do that. What, what changed today? I lost track of that because of COVID. So I lost track. So I'll just say roughly the 80s. Who did you... I lost track of that because of COVID. Did you have COVID? Like, how you don't know your birthday? So... What's your ID say, brother? What does your ID say? I lost track. So I'll just say roughly the 80s. Who did you live with? Um, my mum and my dad for an early stage of my life. And my dad went away, so. My, a lot of my mum and my big brother, my older brother. I was like, kind of, I'm the man of kind of strict parent, you know what I mean? Maybe single mother and like, you know what I'm saying? Or kind of strict, right? Just more sports, a sports kid. He heavy, heavy with the football. Just stuff used to happen and I'll be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, at a young age. So, you know what I mean? Just end up in a stolen car or something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't no, ask me how I got in there. How did you find the transition between primary and secondary school? Uh, that's eat down. There's no drama, man. I'm, I'm always been a popular kid and stuff, so. Year six, I got arrested first time in blockbuster videos. So this is before, so this. Seventh grade, I got arrested the first time. Uh, for a fight. I had a headband on. This is when headbands was popular in America. You used to wear a headband, like from, you know, basketball or soccer, football. A little headband with a Nike swoosh. Somebody snatched my Nike, my headband off my head. We was at a party. And he gonna run around the party. And I was talking to a girl, too. Like, bro, oh, crap, don't do that. I'm too untamed at this time of my life. Like, don't do that. This is how I was arrogant. Do you know what I mean? I can't explain the arrogance, but I was a bit arrogant. Because I'd been arrested and I'd done, like... Loads of 15 year olds haven't, do you know what I mean? So I was probably an anomaly to the whole school, do you know what I mean? I came to the school with kind of a bad reputation. Wrestling, do you know what I mean? Remember wrestling? WrestleMania? I can't remember WrestleMania. I was in Blockbuster videos. I asked my mom, can we get the video? She was like, no. I was like, all right. <laughs> Went on, stole got my it. bike, rid back there. Just tried to take it and walk out. And... I do not endorse thievery, but that's funny. That's a crazy, that's most kids origin story when they become thieves. Got in trouble, shit. I'm saying so I had no can't say no to me. I don't know. I don't know how you put that in in terms, but when I was young, no was a, a hard word for me to comprehend, do you know what I mean? Spoiled. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got battered that day, bro. I mean, it's not it wasn't a it wasn't a good day. So I had that arrogance from from that. Being grounded the whole six weeks holiday. They deserve it, do you know what I mean? Can't be 11 bringing a police to the door and what have you. Um, but I had a little chip on my shoulder. I wasn't hanging around no one, I was in my bedroom. Hanging around my mom. <laughs> hanging around my bunk bed, bruv. Just like, like, 
like had a bit of fun when them lot used to walk past my window, boy. Like, yo, wait, you know what I mean, kind of vibe. But yeah, that six weeks holiday before year seven, I was not out. I ain't got one of them stories where I came out and my mum was super strict and the these lot got me on bad. I was like, I was like Spider Man. Do you know what I mean? Like in the gaff, I was Peter Parker, but since I got out of Spider Man, do you know what I'm saying? Isn't it? I was like a superhero, bro. Like, soon as I was out of that house without a, a, a adult, I was a whole nother person. You said you didn't know it. I think that most kids, though, especially back in the nineties, especially in the nineties. Let's be real, especially in the nineties, early two thousands. You was a good kid when you was in between them doors. As soon as you hit outside, oh, oh yeah, it's up. <laughs> I'm having a great time out here. I'm talking about, I got into a rock. I used to, there was a, it was some construction in front of my house. I don't know, I think it was in front of my house. And me and my boy Chucky, he in jail right now. I think he in jail for life. He, uh, he, um, we was having a rock fight. Like, what kids, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in the crib playing with crayons and things of that nature. I go outside, I'm having a, a rock fight. You get what I'm saying? I'm a different person. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went, I lived in Hackney, but I went to school in Islam. I went to Highbury Grove. No, no, I went Holloway, sorry. I went Holloway Boys first, sorry. I went Holloway Boys, my bad. And I got kicked out in year seven, so I got kicked out Damn. in November, December. I didn't tell my mom for like the whole rest of the year. So I never got kicked out of school until my senior year of high school. school. She'll go to work. I'll, she'll drop me bus stop, sit there, get on the bus one stop. I like going to school. It was like a social event. It was fun. I oh, know. Just doing that for bloody, I didn't know what I was going to do, man. You know, like New Year, you got to buy a uniform and that. Someone was like, oh, you got back into school. That's, a, a, that's when I got to confess. You know what I mean? That's when I went to the Highbury School. I went to Highbury Grove. And that's where a lot of my friends were. That's where a lot of people from my area are, people from my school. So that was year eight. Year seven in secondary school, I was in there for about 20 weeks, wasn't it? Why did you get out? Oh, Holloway Boys, right? At the time, there was a head teacher called Mr. Smith. And then it was like, get. When you get in the room, you have to stand up. No matter what's happening. If he walks in the room, you have to stand up. I was like, oh, why? This, man. This is, I'm not standing up today. Wait, wait, why? That's very militant. Why do I have to stand out of tension when you walk in a room? You're just, you're a teacher. Relax. Simmer down. Do you know what I mean? So he tried to drag me. He tried to, like, lift me up by my, by my blazer. Oh, just got a bit physical, man. Right, don't, don't, you don't touch me, man. I mean, you can do shout at me, do all that, but... One thing I know in life, you don't touch people, man. I mean, I know East London and North London, there was a bit of a feud back in the day. Yeah, yeah. And this is way before then. Not way before, but in and around them times, yeah. Year eight, year nine, year ten, got kicked out, got sent to some. Uh, uh, who? What's. Who, okay. Got sent to some unit. These times we were actively robbing bookies and like, uh, travel agents and. Uh, post office and stuff like that. So he was actively doing all them things. And so I went to a unit which has honed my criminality even more. What you mean I couldn't drive a car, so I go there, there'll be like white boys that are there for stealing cars and you don't have to drive, get in. <laughs> now, hey, now I'm all now I, I can rob and do the driving like do you know what I mean? They were honing my skills like differently like so. Did you know what you were doing? Yeah of course. Absolutely. Not like knew what I was doing per se, but I, my friends were going to jail on that. The guy that was with me there is not with me no more and he's writing me letters. I mean, I know what, what we were doing when she get caught, you go somewhere. But like I always say to the young, you don't know, if you ain't been somewhere, you don't know how scary it is, isn't it? Someone, like someone can talk to you, talk to you, talk to you, talk to you, talk to you. It's, that, it's not as scary until you go there. Do you know what I mean? Not Do y'all agree with that? I, can't, I agree with it to a certain extent, like, but not jail. All you got to do is tell me you go away, if you in a small room with a bunch of men, you locked up 23 hours of the day, like, I'm good. That's all I mean, nah. Uh -uh. 
What are you talking about? <laughs> I guess for some people it's like that, but jail? Uh-uh. Not like, as in, oh. Prison? Well, nah. I'm... It's just time wasting, locked in, you know what I mean? Got not, you know what I mean? So. I was doing whatever I could to stay out of there if I got, when I got in trouble. Boy, I'm hiring the best lawyer I can with the funds that I have. I was never getting a court-appointed lawyer. Boy, because they always wanted you to take the plea deal no matter what you did. No matter what you did or didn't do, you could be completely, completely innocent. And they'd be like, man, just take the deal, man. It's a good deal. Like, bro, go get, you're fired. Go on somewhere. Like, that's what they be on now. You're at the age of 15 now. You're rolling for peace, correct? Mm-hmm. Where did it go from there? Where we was doing, uh, like, bookies and stuff like that. I was getting, like, eight, seven hundred, eight, eight hundred could eat. Well, you change your money in the airport now. Nah, they used to have them on every corner shop, you know what I mean? Every corner shop, every corner of a road, you know what I mean? High road, each high street, there used to be a bureau. They change it. Thomas Cook, Lampoli, going places. Those places, you go in there, book your holiday, and you can change your money up. How many robberies have taken place? I don't know. Loads. I remember the day, I could have my hand, it was like, I think like the 7th of August, 1999. We've um, done it. Execution. Uh, that was the biggest one we ever done. That was, that was good money then, man. Seven, 16. I was like 57,000 pounds, like 200,000 pounds in traveler's checks. So between three, three, three kids, you know what I mean? But we picked up a little, little pack with dye on it. So it's like a, they have money separated. And we've just, in the, just gone, you know what I mean? In the skirmish, put them in the bag. Stepped, but I have seen a little bit of money as well. So I've grabbed Tom and I've stuck him down my trousers. Do you know what I mean? There's a fair enough and what? Do you know what I'm saying? I'm the only one that can drive, so we've took a car up here. We've elevated from before. We used to do it on trains and stuff. Jumped in the car. Robberies on trains is crazy. That'd be too. F that's freaky. They waiting for you. Police waiting for you at the next stop. That's tough. We've bolted off. Go about 10 minutes down the road, the money explodes in the car. The car goes and spot. All the money explodes and it's everywhere. All down there. I've had a second of, second degree. What's the light one? First of all, one of them. I burns here, burned off all one. You know what I mean? The car was just, just a red smoke down the mall. <laughs> Helicopter. I was on chopper coppers as well. What is this? This is a pod, his name is Looms. Chase. Went down some back road. Never forget, all the windows are pink because of the dye. So pinked out the windows. Just jumped out the moving car. I've opened the door, and, like, the, and the cars hit the door. But then, because it was a mini, the car's gone like, pfft, like, kind of like that. So it's giving me a chance to kind of slip out. I had to look over my shoulder and was like, oh, my response, like, don't move. I just was like, I just ran, I just over some wall. Some big towel block, I climbed in the towel block, I'm up there, pigeons and that, molding my breath. I'm up there for hours, bro. I looked out and then like some priest, man, see me. A priest, he see me, he's up there. Oh, bro. Yeah, and then uh, I went jail. This is like a scene out of a movie. A random priest seen you in a pigeon coop after running from the police? From robbing a, 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 a what's the place of 200000 plus dollars? At 16. At 15? I was in jail from that, for the millennium. I missed my 18th birthday, 19th, 20th, 21st. Disgusted myself, to be honest, in that. that you know what I mean? Just threw it away, just, just really nilly like that. But you can't turn back time, you know what I'm saying? I haven't got a picture of me when I was 18, 19, 20, 21. No pictures. Nothing as this is of me. So it's just like, bro, I threw my whole life away. On like 16 or 17. If you could speak to yourself, you'd tell yourself not to do that. I'm just asking myself that I made that decision to do that. And even when I could have got out earlier, I was still being unruly and just fuck it. Do you know what I mean? But not understanding these are. Landmark times of your life, Jim. You know Came out just to carry. Yeah, 18, 19, 20, 21. 
I wouldn't miss those years for the life of me. Boy, that was some good times. It's slow, man. The world's changing, man. I mean, slowly but surely, the world was changing. Do you know what I mean? When I went in, there was no internet, so I've come out and it was like everyone's MSN and all mobile phones were getting small and shit like that. Do you know what I'm saying? For the last next few years, I just chilled. I think I had, like, had a relationship, had a kid. Yeah. Some will say it's gang shit, but it's not. I, I don't know, man. It was just, I weren't doing nothing that I was doing previously, though. Do you know what I mean? So there was no robberies, there was no... It was just, um... And I can't really incriminate myself, do you know what I mean? But, yeah, as you can imagine, we was doing stuff, innit? <laughs> yeah, just doing stuff, I got sh... Nah, I didn't get shot yet, but... Yeah, we got shot after a few times and... You know, but... We lost a few people in this time as well. Was that the gang robbery that I referred to? Right? 2003, I lost, like, four friends. 2000... No, no, no. 2004, 2005, I lost, like, four friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 but I was in prison when a lot of that happened as well, so... I was in prison when a lot of the people passed away as well, so... I was even asked, that's, that's even hard as well. But some people, I ain't even seen them since school. Do you know what I'm saying? And they, oh, they're out, they're out, and da Okay, you can't wait to see them, and then you get out, and then you don't see them again. You know what I'm saying? You don't even get to see them, funeral, that thing. We missed it all, so... Like I'm saying, discuss with yourself that you've thrown away loads of priceless moments of life, do you know what I'm saying? What year was it you got shot? Seven, I think. Oh, but I got stabbed in 2005. Bro. Okay. <laughs> I was just out of prison, that's what I just felt like I was anyway. So I might have come out of jail for something else. So I was found that in and out of jail, and I came out of jail just for like driving offences and assault and police and stuff like that. So I might have just come out of jail for something frivolous anyway. I was in a nightclub, I'm in a nightclub with a DJ, one of my DJ mates, and um, it was just me and him, so he's going to do his set, and I was just walking around the nightclub. Saw someone, familiar face, what have you. Like I'm saying, I've been away. I'm, I'm away from the streets and stuff, so... Uh, I don't know there's a problem, or potentially a problem, so I'm blasé to the fact. So you go on and blind? Uh, it's just gone left, innit? Do you know what I mean? It's just gone left. Long story short, it's gone left. I was stabbed 13 times on that sitting there, so... Dang! Yeah, I stabbed in my eye, I stabbed in my, I stabbed in my head, I stabbed in my lungs, I stabbed in my liver, I stabbed in my... Heart valve, stabbed in my, in my hip, stabbed in my a millisecond from that, was it that, that artery in your leg, stabbed in my temple. Yeah, I was on death's door, bro. Yeah, he was trying to and eliminate you. As well, so it was, it was a weird year. That was 2000. He hit you in all major spots. Five, I think, yeah. So you went into hospital? Mm hmm. My mates stumbled out of the club. They said my eye was hanging out of my head. They see me throw me in the boot, throw me in the car, or whatever, throw me in the boot, throw me in the car. They're just talking to me, do you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck, man? I can see, or I can, I can never forget all their faces, man. Like, my good mate still to this day, Bull, uh, Max, you know what I mean? Yeah, just remember they're looking at me. I mean, just kind of in the hospital, and all you see is that. That's all I saw, all I can see is I ain't get stabbed, but I got jumped. And I can remember my boy's name here, and I can remember when he got to me. I, I'm not telling this story, but like I was outside and I remember when he got to me, he looked at me, he was like, damn. He was like, no, he ain't say that. He said, he said, oh my God, I can remember it. He's like, like that over me, cutting my clothes off. I'm like, oh, that's Ralph. I just remember saying, it's Polo girl. Cutting off my shirt and that. Like, it's Ralph, what are you doing? That's 85 quid. So I woke up a couple of weeks later, mate. He didn't get my eye, it got like, it got, if you, everyone's got like, if you touch the bottom of your eye, you can feel that little dip. It went in there and popped the, the ball into the socket. So it was just like, kind of, yeah. that's the best way I can. Do you know what I mean? It was just, it's like Coca Cola. It didn't like kind of affect anything, it just cut the skin. It's just a very small pierce. But it went. Yeah. Do you sit there and explain that story and understand how mad that is? Yeah, man. Yeah, you know what it is. I didn't know how mad it was yet yeah, until I was just like, oh, that's just, I like, explained it to. Oh, I explained it to someone. It's like, bro, what? What the fuck are you talking about? Man? Are you okay? Do you know the guy that did that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no more hard grudges on that. No <laughs> nothing, nothing no more. That's, that's 20 years ago. Yeah, you listen to me. 
Mm. So she's born in the summer. So yeah, around that, 2005, 2006. Mm. Did that change your lifestyle? Absolutely. So I started, uh, yeah, rolling with it, per se. Do you know what I mean? Had to feel like, had to. I don't know, man. When it just it hit different. Cause, like, I feel like, I don't know, because I don't have no son. Like, I didn't have a son first, but it feels different when you have a daughter first, I feel. Like, it'd be like, dang. All right. <laughs> when you got a son, you like, shoot, it's whatever. But, but when you got a daughter, it's like, ah, no. Let me tighten up. <laughs> I was on the line. You, know, man, you don't know how serious it is until you speak to your parent, your mom, and she's like, yo, they're looking at the coffins and shit, you know what I'm saying? Or not even looking at coffins, but just got to price up what's, up, what's the cost of a funeral? Big butter, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, it's, you're cheaper to keep alive, mate. Stay alive, mate. I, just, I didn't get in trouble for years, man. For years. Mm. You know? Make sure you got life insurance. I mean, yeah, I was just, just coasting. But obviously, in the, in the eye of the law, it was illegal stuff, but it was nothing to the extent of what was going on in these cold streets. Do you know what I'm saying? We fast forward, what would you say is the, the, the next biggest landmark that happened? Like? Shooting, like, man, like two years later, 18 months later. So this is when like, I, could, I was fully recovered. Everyone was coming out for a night out, to say that was my first night out. So everything I was doing, I weren't going out. I weren't raping, because that was what happened. When I last went raving, I got stabbed. You know what I mean, so that was a little thing. So that was a hurdle for me to get over. Right? Long story short, got tired in the night, come sitting down, and I've just seen people walking with, do you know what I mean? With fucking Mac tens and that. <laughs> I was like, for fuck's sake! I knew they were there for me. Do you know what I mean? I knew it. I knew they were there for me. So wait, did he say this was the first time he he went back to partying? Because he got, you know what I'm saying, stabbed 13 times at a party. He said there was a hurdle for him to get over. Was it the first party? Like, welcome back to partying? And blick, blick, blow? My oh, boy Shane Poe, he calls me, uh, he started calling me hard to kill, Steven Seagal. <laughs> but, because this is like, look, it's not even whatever. It is what it is, right? So I was sat down and there was people in front of me, right? who I didn't know. So I'm kind of sat like that, like ready to tap out from the ravens, like. And then, so that is at arm's length. So if you're walking past me, that is where your arm will be, where I'm like that. So if you're walking past me, your arm will be there, right? So that's when I've seen it. One, I'm like, huh? So I set up, like, if that's not us, who the fuck is that? Do you know what I mean? And I know we, that's not us. We're here for a good time, had shoes on. See what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, what the fuck? So I sit up, and I look across, and I see my boy Max, he's there. Max is trying to get my attention, so I, I, I super know it's for me. There's like a crew of them. And it just stops, boom, like that. So I'm like that. Look up like that. I, I, I feel like, you know, you're telling us your life story with a timeline. Something was left out. Because it don't seem like you was like this type of dude where they, where people are looking for you. You got several hits put on your life. Like, it don't, like, what happened for these people to be looking for you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like crucial pieces of your life story and origin story are left out of this. Probably for good reason, but like, come on now. It's <laughs> like some. <laughs> Look down at me like we've looked at it like so I'm just like pushed whoever was in front of me like, like jumped over a sofa like they just gone like, hit me my side like had to jump over a counter man like literally rolled out of a nightclub my mate skidded his brother it's like is there CCTV or club footage it was like I want to see it. Movie. I stumbled Sounds out the club. Like I made skidded onto the, the curb. I just back door open. I just dived in the back. He's like, "Don't get the blood on my baby seat. Don't get." The... <laughs> I'll never forget. <laughs> I'm like, "I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry." That's when my mum came hospital, battered me. Okay, 
pop up. Showed you got a good jab. Yeah. You need to stay out of them. Clubbing and, and partying is not for you. You 0 for 2 in there right now, in my book. You think it's normal, isn't it? So we just. So, did you go back to prison? Yeah, 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 loads of times. Loads of times. Because you know, driving, I was, I was. While this was happening, I was on a ban. I didn't want to be on the buses and trains. I just felt Obviously. like I was a target. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Every time, it just felt. Cars are the safest thing for me. Every car I bought, the police knew where I was. I tell people all the time, when you involved or in, in things of that nature, you, you buses and trains ain't for you. Get nicked, drive a while to scroll, go jail. So you come out of jail again? Mm. I've been like from that first time for the robbery until present day, like 13 times. Dang. Crap in it. Three, nine months, two months, six weeks, oh. two days. Oh, God. <laughs> no. No. See, and this brings me back to his 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 viewpoint of you never really know how bad something is until you're there. Like I didn't know Joe was that bad until I got there the first time. Well, sir, you went twelve times after that. So what? You was in there kicking it at that point, then. With that logic, you was having a great time. Oh, bro, the little ones are the worst ones, bro. They're the worst ones. Why are the little ones the worst ones? The little birds are the worst birds because you can see the door, innit? Like the last, like the last six weeks feel like six months, bro. Do you know what I mean? You wake up, it's the middle of the night. Oh, you think, oh, I woke up, it's another new day. Look, it's, it's 11 p.m. The same day, like, do you know what I mean? Like, we've only been a kip an hour. Now you're up, got full of beans. Now you've got to stay up. Just trying to knock the days out, do you know what I mean? Go to bed early, so it's a new day. So it just doesn't work like that, do you know what I mean? So I stayed out of prison until 2019. So just, okay. just doing absolutely. Uh, smuggling weed, didn't I? <laughs> At the country, though, not in the country. Uh, about four keys to the Isle of Man. So I went to jail with not Isle of Man. Which is not, everyone thinks Isle of Man's just. Well, Isle of Man? Then it's not. It's his own spot, own wit, they got their own money. How much time did they give you? Crime, I, I, crime in Isle of Man is very low, so. Any crime you do is like it's escalated the time, right? Own language. I was in jail now. It's not the same. You get a bird, you do the bird. It's not like guaranteed half. There's no tag there. There's no. Yeah, see, you gotta do the whole amount of time. Here. There's no custody time limit. There's none of that works there. They just got their own law. Jolly up. One judge. There's four barristers on the island. You gotta pick one of the four barristers. At lunchtime, they're all eating lunch together. So Jolly Up was in a bad, sticky place. I was there like nine months. Hey, see, I don't like that. You would think it's like that. It wasn't like that in big places either. In Chicago, it's like that too. They all know each other. And that's what I didn't like about getting in trouble. That's why I stopped getting in trouble. Y'all all in cahoots. Yeah, I'm going to convince my... I'm going to I'm gonna convince him for you to take the uh, plea deal. Just lower it a little bit. So you, you still get the win, but we kind of get a win too. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't like that energy from lawyers. I want my energy, my lawyer to be like, you know what I'm saying? Kobe Bryant, the mamba of lawyers, not trying to be no friends with other lawyers. No, no. <laughs> yeah, not because of the, the fucking, not because of anything like that, but yeah. Just boring, man. Fuck, my mind fuck, mate. Everyone's a junkie, everyone's drinking drugs, everyone, I mean, like a jail I've never been in before. Yeah, but they were doing different drugs there. Like, they were doing... Like I'm saying, they are doing smoking bloody bonging off a fucking sausage. I'm saying it's different there, like, you know what I mean? By all means, they're doing it. There's nothing stopping them, do you know what I'm saying, isn't it? Nothing is like... They started having to take their meds on the scene. Guys were like... One man selling another man his meds. He, the guy was swallowing and holding his throat and go <laughs> and sell it to him. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm gonna go, cheers, mate. Bro, like I'm saying, bro, I'm screamish. Those things are going in my cell and just be like, <clears throat> you know what I mean? A little vomit in my mouth and like, oh, <laughs> that's disgusting. Smoking potatoes, doing weird. I can't explain it, man. This is the weirdest place I've ever been. Currency's coffee, cor cor coffee's currency, then. Never ever been in a place with coffee's currency. Did you ever feel like you were losing your mind? 
Yeah, I just had to phone home every day, man. No visits or nothing. No. Because I just didn't want it. I didn't want my people to come over there. I think when it was just, a, just, just torture myself more so I don't go back. Came out, started broadcasting, so yeah, here we are. Cool. Okay. So Good move, man. So this is Standout TV's first like thing like this, huh? What was they doing before Standout TV? I'm gonna look. Um, what you tell your younger self? Mm, just respect life. My younger self, respect life, man. Take it easy. Middle lane's good sometimes, man. Not always fast lane. You know what I mean? That's about it, man. Um, but it's just, would I change it? I would like to say I would, but if I changed it, would I be the person I am now? You know what I mean? It's loads of yeah, I never look back at my past and be like, I changed this and this. The only thing I would do different is like pay attention more in school. You know what I'm saying? Apply myself in school. That'd be it. Cause I think I would have went to college, and I, I still went to college, but I just I just got bored of it. But I would have went to a better college, and I would have like, you know what I'm saying? Enjoyed it and stayed, and probably, you know what I'm saying? The stuff I want to change about myself, and, you know what I mean, and get angry to people, whatever, whatever, whatever. But would I be the person I am now where, do you know what I mean, people are interested in what I'm, do you know what I mean? So maybe not. Maybe I need to learn them lessons, you know what I mean? Don't take everyone for granted. I'm trying to do what I've seen. All those shit I learned first hand, do you know what I'm saying? You know, first, don't write a book, write its cover. All that shit. I learned the hard way, you know what I mean? And still here at the event to, 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 to talk about it, so. And everyone can't do that, so listen, listen, kids at home, listen to your parents. That's what I could say, really. Uh, you know what I mean? Basically. Cold. <laughs> Interview talking about some cold. Uh, yeah. Alright, let me see, what was they doing before, though? What was they? Oh, grilling and, okay, that's what I remember. Alright. Got it. Tell her leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm gone.